Today I want to take a look at opening Explorer View with Microsoft Edge. This is an exciting new announcement I noticed on Trevor's blog and wanted to go through a demo of it. Uh, on my PC, I can do the install module Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell command, and it goes through the steps, and what I'm seeing loaded is 21513. In his blog post, it mentions 21610, a little bit higher number. So there's a link here to the MSI download, 21610, and that was published on 831. We'll go ahead and download that file, open it to run, and before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete the folder here out of C, Windows, C Program Files, Windows PowerShell Modules. Just delete the old one, make sure there's no conflicts between the two. Use the MSI method to get the commands loaded. And with the commands loaded, what I want to do is test that out over here in PowerShell. We'll go ahead and make a new window, brand new console. And we'll do a git command dash module, paste in the module name, format table auto, or actually no dash module, just git command connect SPO service. All right, 21610. Very nice. So before I do anything, I want to go ahead and start a transcript. It gives me a cool little log file. Paste in the first command to connect SPO. Change out the tenant name. Do a little search replace. Log in with username and password. Choose work account and continue. Now this command goes straight into the set to modify the setting. I personally like to do a get first and take a look at what kind of settings I have out there. So we'll do a get with a select. View in File Explorer enabled is false. And it, you know, sure enough, article says tenant setting is false by default. All right, let's go ahead and run the set command, see what we get. And I get back the experimental feature, not supported in the current environment. And that, that's kind of expected. This is a new thing rolling out. And just to double check, I'm going to open up the M365 Admin Center, come down the left to Organization Settings, and then Org Profile. Org Settings, Org Profile. At the bottom, we'll find Release Preferences. Opening that up, just double checking, I am on targeted release for everyone to get updates early. So hopefully this you know, setting will show soon. Now the other aspect of the article is that we need a newer version of edge. We need to make sure that we're running version 93 at a minimum. When we open the edge browser, we can type in edge colon slash slash version, or you can type in about colon version. That's something that all browsers support, kind of redirects over. Here I can see I am on version 93. And if you need to force updates or double check it, go to the three dots in the top right, help, about, and here you'll see the version number 93 and the ability to push updates if updates were available. So again, the three dots in the corner, help about, that's where you can update your edge if needed. You can also type in about colon version to check it. Make sure that you're on version 93 or higher. And with both of these settings available, we should be able to see Explorer View in MS Edge soon. Exciting announcement, one more step towards retirement of IE. Thanks for watching.